Hello everybody, this is Pastor Phil with Full of Life Ministries. It is great to be alive and it's wonderful to be able to be a servant for the Lord. You know, people of God, being a servant for the Lord gives me great satisfaction and fulfillment. It helps me to focus on what really matters. It renews my sense of purpose. It allows me to witness the power of God being demonstrated. And because I am a servant of the Lord, it develops my relationship with Jesus Christ. For without Jesus in my life, I would be just like a ship without a sail. You see, I'm reminded of the scripture that keeps our outlook on servanthood a top priority when it comes to fulfilling God's purpose for your life. And it's found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 57 through 58. It tells us, Thanks be to God who gives us this victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. As a result of all of this, my beloved brothers and sisters, you must stand firm, unshakable, <laughs> excelling in the work of the Lord, as always, because you know that your labor isn't going to be for nothing in the Lord. You see, what I love about this passage of scripture it starts by acknowledging what we should do as a servant of Christ. Servants, catch this, servants give thanks. <laughs> you see, giving thanks with a grateful heart is understanding the significance of God's purpose for your life. Because you you know that you are in the center of God's will. You understand where the Lord is taking you. You acknowledge his sacrifice when he gave his life because we indulged in sin. And that sin was sending us to a place called hell. It goes on to say, we have victory now through Jesus. Jesus created a destination where eternal life exists, where freedom from sin resides, where the love of Jesus overflows. It is a place where his peace covers you from head to toe. And your portfolio is now updated. <laughs> yes, your past is a thing of the past. And as a result of this, God continues to challenge you to greatness. What is the Lord saying? He says to us today or tonight, he is saying that you must stand firm. You must stand firm. Stand firm on his principles, standing firm on his promise. Stand firm when everybody else, and I mean everybody else from your family, from your cousins, from your coworkers, from your church family, whoever it may be, standing firm when everybody else is becoming reckless with their life. Standing firm when the people closest to you are causing division. The Lord is saying, stand firm, unshakable, unmovable, never wavering, always excelling in the work of the Lord. Having a spirit of excellence, giving God your best. Reminding yourself that the Lord deserves our best. He deserves that. 
because he gave his best. Jesus, his only begotten son, was the ultimate gift to the world. And so we should never cheapen our gift to God. And the scripture concludes, your labor isn't going to be for nothing in the Lord. Listen, I'm here today or tonight to remind you that your purpose is waiting for you. <laughs> you see, the flight has been set. The ticket has been bought with a price. And now, people of God, it's time to board. What has to happen in our lifetime is we have chosen to go, unfortunately, a different path. We've gotten ourselves away from studying our ticket to our destiny. We're on the wrong plane. <laughs> and maybe you thought that the trip you were on would give you, would give your soul satisfaction only to find out that you're lost <laughs> and may have missed out on the event you were destined for. Listen, the Lord has impressed upon me to talk about the solution to getting your life back on course. Because the Lord is speaking just like the people at an airport. I mean, I know that many of us have flown on an airplane and you know how the airport looks like. You, you can sense all of the different directions and all of the different doors and, and have to go through these gates in order to get on the plane. The crew at the airport is constantly <laughs> talking over the PA system, reminding you to follow the instructions so that you can make it to your destination. I'm here to let you know today or tonight that God is doing the same thing. He is constantly reminding you. He is tapping you on your mind and he's tapping you in your heart. He's tapping you on the shoulder <laughs> to follow the instructions so you can make it to your destination. And so today or tonight's episode is entitled Boarding Pass. I want to say that one more time. Today or tonight's episode is entitled Boarding Pass. Let's take a commercial break and we'll be right back with the episode entitled Boarding Pass. Hello, hello. My name is Christopher. I'm the editor of Full of Life Ministries San Diego podcast. And first of all, I'd like to say thank you so much for listening. We really appreciate it. But I would also like to say that if you would like any prayer, any words of encouragement, or would just like to reach out in any way, you can email us at fulloflifesd at gmail.com. Also, we have a Twitter account. Our handle is at fulloflifesd. And feel free to reach out. We would love to hear from you. And lastly, I would like to say if you like what you're hearing and would like to donate, you can donate on any one of our pages. If you go to any of our pages, Spotify, Google, Spreaker, any of that, there should be a link that allows you to do so if that interests you. That's all for me. So thank you guys for listening and enjoy the rest of the podcast. All right, we are back. And so let's get into today or tonight's episode entitled Boarding Pass. You see, people of God, there are three critical factors in getting to your destination with the spiritual, spiritual boarding pass. Yes, critical factors, essentials, non-negotiables when it comes to the boarding pass. Now listen, number one. You have to have your identity verified. <laughs> Think about those trips to the airport. That the most important thing, besides the ticket, 
besides the plane is that you have to have your ID with you in order to enter the plane. So it's really critical to have your identity verified. You see, people of God, many times, oftentimes we try to change our identity because we don't like who we are. <laughs> you compare yourself with others. We reject the belief that we are valuable. Have you been there before? Yes, many of us don't feel like we have value for society. And so we try to pass by security with a fake ID. <laughs> you see, people of God, God knows the real you. He knows all about you. He created you. He understands your ups and your downs. He understands when you try to pass through life with a fake ID. He understands that you don't feel so good about yourself. But God knows. He knows the real you. Now listen, Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 tells us, For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. I want to read that verse one more time. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, not bad works, not bad behaviors, but he created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. People of God, when we struggle to find our identity, when we listen to others that don't understand the damage they create for our life, we eventually stumble and fall. Now, Acts, the book of Acts, chapter 17, verse 28 tells us, it says, in God we live, in God we move, and in God we exist. As some of your own poets said, we are his offspring. So number one, you have to check your identity. It has to be verified. It has to be the real you. So instead of trying to change or to distort your identity, I want you to begin to look towards heaven so God could reveal the real you. And together with God, God can change you back to the real you. Yes, he's going to remove some things. He's going to maybe have to remove some people in your life that's causing you to change your identity. Maybe how you operate daily that needs to change. Maybe some of the things and some of the actions that you do needs to change. Because when you allow those things to change you now, you're not able to get on to the plane. You're not able to travel to places that God wants to take you to because you've allowed the enemy to change your identity. So number one, make sure before you do anything, make sure the real you comes out. Not the one that's part of this world. Not the one that is always trying to seek validation with others, but the one where God is pleased and now you can move to the next destination port. So number one, you have to have your identity verified. Number two, follow the directions on the ticket. <laughs> How can you go anywhere in life if you don't follow directions? Think about this. 
How can you make a cake without following the directions? How can you get to work if you don't follow the directions? How could you sustain a long career if you don't follow the directions? If you don't understand now, if you don't understand the directions, ask for help. Many of us don't seek help. We try to do things on our own. We try to work it out for the betterment of us. But this is causing us to get lost. Now listen, if you can't locate your whereabouts, look for the signs. <laughs> look around. If there aren't any signs, you ask me the question. You say, Pastor Phil, I don't even see, see any signs. Well, if you if there's not any signs around, then call somebody. <laughs> Listen, God is saying today or tonight, he's given us directions through his word to get you to the proper location. That's the worst feeling in the world where you know that you're not where you should be. And now time is passing you by because you're in the wrong location. And sometimes we get lost and we wind up in the wrong location is because we're seeking a relationship that's not designed for you. And now you have boarded into this relationship and now you're frustrated, you're angry. Uh, now the abuse, whether it's physical or verbal, begins to happen in your life and now you don't even feel good about yourself. Well, some of these things were taught to you by your parents, by life itself, through a commercial, about making sure that you are following the principles about relationships. There are very critical factors that come in with a relationship and when you don't follow those directions when you begin to accept things that you shouldn't accept this is how you wind up lost and not able to board the plane called destiny for your life now listen he's given us his word to get us to the proper location. Now Proverbs the 16th chapter and the 20th verse tells us, those who listen to instruction will prosper. Those who trust the Lord will be joyful. I want to read that verse one more time. Those who listen to instruction will prosper. Those who trust the Lord will be joyful, happy, excited, blessed. It's right there in the text. It's right there in God's word. And Proverbs the 10th chapter and the 17th verse tells us, it says those who heed instruction are on the way to life. But those who ignore correction lose their way. People of God is really basic principles that God has given for us so we can travel to places in God where we can see the greatness of God like never before. How do we wind up in hell on earth? It's because we did not follow the directions and we did not stay within our identity as Christians, as believers in Christ Jesus. So that was number two, follow directions, follow the directions on the ticket. And lastly, number three, when you finally arrive at the gate, tell yourself, you belong here. This is a critical one because we don't feel like we belong, like we're not worthy to 
enter into a place in God where we can see his greatness, where we can experience hope, where we can walk by faith and not by sight. You have to tell yourself because the enemy will tell you a lie that does not line up with God's truth. So through all of the struggles and the pains and the sufferings, and when you finally get to your destination, when you get to the gate, you got to tell yourself, I belong here. This is for somebody who listens to this podcast, Full of Life Ministries, weekly. You belong here, not in the world, because the, the world will eat you up and spit you out. You belong with Jesus because this journey that you're on is very difficult. It has a lot of uncertainty. You needed help along the way. You didn't know how you got to where you are right now. But the Lord is saying today or tonight that you belong here. The Lord Trust me, the Lord is thrilled that you made the effort to get there. But there's more in store for you. He has a seat waiting for you. <laughs> Isn't that good news? It has your name on it. It is meant for you to fly like an eagle. To soar above those clouds that tries to bring showers to your life. The storms of life that try to drown your faith. The boarding pass is where you will experience things that you've never experienced. But the key is, trust God on the path for success. Trust him with your whole heart and lean not to your own understanding. And in all ways, acknowledge him and he will give you He will give you a clear path for success. Now listen, Ephesians chapter 2 verse 13. It says, but now you belong to Christ Jesus. And at one time you were far away from God. Now you have been brought close to him. Hallelujah. Christ did this for you when he gave his blood, when he sacrificed his life on the cross. He gave his life so you can soar, so you can fly like an eagle, so you can rise up above the clouds, the storms of life against people's opinions of you against the evil forces that tries to bring you down. God has done the work and now it's up to us to get on the plane called destination. You got the boarding pass. He's given you the ticket. He's given you the directions. And now he is saying today or tonight, you belong with me. And so in closing, Let's get back on course and stop trying to look for a better way to live because the solution lies within your faith in Jesus. Because think about this. If you place your faith in Christ, I promise you, you will discover great satisfaction and blessings for your life. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for all of your many blessings. We thank you for staying with us while we try to find our way. Thank you, O oh Lord, that you have purchased us through your sacrifice. When you hung on the cross for the remission of our sins, you were, you were doing this so, so we can be free from those things that's causing us not to soar in life. And Lord God, I pray for those who have lost their way, 
who have lost their identity, who didn't always follow your directions. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you will forgive us and wash us of every sin, that you would just remove that thought process that we could do this on our own because we can't do nothing without you, O oh God. So I pray for every listener under the sound of my voice that you will just strengthen their hearts, that you will renew their mind, that they will they can believe that they belong with you, O oh God, that they will believe that no matter what comes their way, whatever temptations that come their way, they can say no to sin and say yes to your will, O oh God. I pray for every person with a heavy heart those who are in a struggle right now because now they are at the wrong gate they're lost and they don't know who to turn to but lord god help them to call your name in the time of need and as your scripture says that you are a very present help in the time of trouble so help us oh god to just get back on course that we will seek you to just rest in you so we can become everything that you created us to be. We thank you in advance for what you're going to do in our lives. And we ask all these blessings in Jesus name we pray. Amen and amen. Well, that is it for today or tonight. The episode entitled Boarding Pass. This is Pastor Phil with Full of Life Ministries. I hope and pray that you it re- that you really did enjoy this particular episode called Boarding Pass. And if it was a blessing to you, please continue to share these podcasts with your friends, your family, your co-workers, your church family, whoever it may be. Share these episodes because I believe it came straight from the throne of God to enable people to receive God's fullness. Listen, if there's anything we can do to help you along your Christian journey, don't hesitate to email us at fulloflifesd at gmail.com. You can find us on Twitter, Instagram. We love you with the love of Christ, people of God. Pray for us as we pray for you. And let's continue to do this. In Jesus' name, God bless. (laughs)